Hey, it's day 25, and today we're going to be talking about education. Um, before we get started, we're going to start off with the Bible verse. The verse for today is 2 Corinthians 5 and 7. For we live by faith and not by sight. Sorry, I thought, I thought I saw something on my lip, y'all. <laughs> um, live by faith and not by sight. That's hard. Sometimes it is very hard to put all your faith in something you cannot see. I think a lot of people struggle with that, including me. But then I think back to things that had happened in my life. And then I'm like, why not take a chance? Why not have faith? Because back then when I didn't really, I could just say I didn't have faith. Because I knew of God, but I didn't really know him. So my faith wasn't really strong or I don't think I knew what it really meant to have faith. So if he was doing stuff for me back then, when I wasn't really sure, you know, just imagine what he can do. Or what he will do in my life now that I have started this journey of knowing him better and um, growing my faith in him. But today's topic, education. Um, I've never really been big on school. Um, I think it's really because I have problems focusing. I said had because I'm working on my my focusing and being more focused and not being so easily distracted. But in school it was so hard for me to sit through a lecture class. I would either, you know, be drawing or Looking at a window, eating or talking, doing everything but listening to the teacher. It was just like I couldn't focus. No matter how hard I tried, I couldn't focus. Um, but I did notice like hands-on classes. I was really focused in those classes. I don't know if using my hands helped me focus, but just sitting still listening to somebody talk, it'd be driving me crazy. I'd be like, uh, I need to do something. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I was never a bad student. I got, you know, good grades. It was just hard for me to focus, so. I just focused on graduating high school. I never really thought about education past that even though I did end up going to a college right after high school I went to art school for two years um, I was majoring in interior design and like it was a four-year program so halfway through I realized <laughs> I really didn't want to do interior design I like the designer aspect of it but realistically it's hard to just get a job and do an interior design most of the people i know that was in my classes that did graduate they're like doing interior design plus something else so it's like the chances of you really you know doing something big you have to create your own company or somehow get on TV, you know, HGTV, I don't know, or incorporate it with something else. This one girl I know, 
I'm not going to say her business only because I'm not sure. <laughs> I know that's bad. I'm not sure her, her business name. But she she is a she do catering. But she's a a chef, so she cooks and she used her interior design to like decorate where she's catering or whatever so see that's how she used hers but <laughs> ain't no shelf so <laughs> um, you know you know but yeah I just I just feel like it would have been real difficult for me to really I would have got that degree and been ninety thousand dollars in debt and really wouldn't have had no income coming in to pay that off. So I decided to do fashion design because I'm like I like you know designing. And you can always make money in fashion. People always need clothes. You know what I'm saying? So I decided to switch, but. I haven't actually been to school for designing. I'm in school right now getting my bachelor's in business degree. Um like I said, I've never been the one to be like, ooh, school, you know what I'm saying? So being in school it can be challenging sometimes, especially um, trying to work, um, build a company, raise a child by yourself, and all the other stuff. So, I do online classes. So, it's like I don't have nobody to force me to do work. So, if I don't do the work, then <laughs> I'm just messing myself up. So, I've been, I've been, I only got a year left, so I'm just like praying that I stay focused so I can just get that degree. I just want to finish something. I feel like the only thing I've finished is high school. Since then, I haven't finished anything. And... Some of it is my fault and some of it is just life. Trying to pay for school can be expensive. So, just life and stuff. So, but I really think, even though I'm not a school person, I think educating yourself is very important. No matter if you're trying to build a business or not. Um, I realized that since starting this journey on growing my business that it doesn't matter how much talent you have if if people feel like you don't know the terminology if you're not name dropping and all that other stuff they feel like you don't know even though somebody that can name drop and know all the ter terminology could not selfish. They give them more of a chance just because they they sound good than somebody that's actually talented and just don't know the terminology. So I've been working on learning the business side so I can learn for myself how to run a business so I don't have to be so depending on somebody telling me how to run the business I can run it how I want to run it um, and I can know for myself if somebody is trying to get over on me or not because I learned this information for myself um, that's I believe that's the main focus for me on education and and learning is so that I can know this information for myself so nobody won't get over on me. Because people, 
are opportunists. And if they feel like, you know, you, they able to get over on you, <laughs> they will get over on you. Okay, so her business is sun-dried events and caterings. Her, her name is Jasmine. She she went to art school with me. Her food would be looking so good. I'd be like, girl. Ooh. She be making me hungry. Even though some of this stuff I can't eat right now because <laughs> I'm on my fast. But it'd be looking so good. But I actually been thinking about becoming a full-time vegetarian. I can't do vegan because they real strict. They talk about don't use products, certain products, and like I can use honey. I like honey in my tea, <laughs> so I couldn't be no vegan. But I could, I could do vegetarian. Just don't eat no meat. I can do that. I've been finding these substitute meat stuff. The um, Morning Star plant based burgers and stuff like that. That's good. I had, I tried the bacon. It was disgusting i don't know if i just cooked it wrong but the bacon was nasty but the burgers <laughs> is good <laughs> but yeah education it's, it's this lady next door to me she she has the same problem as me it's like focusing so but I think she's very smart. She just has a problem focusing. So she in a job that she's not really happy with because she can't she says she can't focus. And so she can she can't get like no job where you sit down and you know kind of be still <laughs> like a computer job. Because she said she can't even focus to look at a, the computer. And I just don't want not being able to focus to hold me back. I went and bought these gummies, the Ollie gummies. And I got the focusing and the energy. And it has been helping me focus. And I also think doing these recordings have been helping me learn how to be consistent. Um, Cause I know I promise y'all to do this every day for 30 days. So it's like, I don't like breaking promises. <laughs> so it's like, because I know to be here and do this every day, it's also been helping me to you know, do my sewing every day or do something with my sewing or fashion or something, do something. If I'm cutting out something or sewing something together, drawing, I don't know. It's helping me to, you know, get better at doing that. Um, I see some people that be like they dropped out of fourth grade and billionaires. And then I'd be thinking, how could they do that? They dropped out. Is they still learning on their own? And they just, you know, they just didn't go to an actual school, but they still reading books and stuff like that. I can tell you it's taken me longer than I feel like it should to read this this success book by that Devin Devlin Devin I don't know Megan Good's husband <laughs> but I don't know I'm just I'm not the type of person that just be like ooh let me read 
you know, some people ain't really enjoy reading. Like, they sit around all day and just read, read, read. I'm not one of them people. I guess because, like, growing up in my spare time, me and my mom used to watch TV all the time. So, I'm a visual learner. I like to watch things and learn. And I think that bad habit is like rubbing off on my daughter because she don't ever want to read now. She just want to watch TV all day or look at her tablet. But um, this past week, I've been forcing her to read to me every night because I don't want her to be like me. I want her to be better than me. I don't want her to be my age, 29, trying to basically relearn how to function. Um, the grow, to get out of these bad habits. If I help her to stop the bad habits now, I'm sorry, you guys. I cannot breathe. I don't know if my nose healed. Because I broke my nose in the um, accident. But I don't know how it healed. Because having been back to the doctor, they won't see me <laughs> with no insurance. But sometimes it just feel like I can't breathe. <sighs> sorry. Whew. But, yeah. Um... So, I'm trying to better myself, grow out of bad habits, at the same time, trying to keep my daughter from, you know, starting bad habits. It's kind of hard to fix yourself and to raise a child at the same time. It is so hard because it's like, you got to multitask. You got to try to be the best you all the time because they always watching. She tell me every day she want to be just like me. And, and that's like another little motivation to, to stop procrastination. Stop procrastinating. Ooh, I can't talk today. <laughs> stop procrastinating and stop just feeling lazy to get motivated I can't tell her she could be an astronaut and I'm over here just want to sleep all the time I just want her to be great and I want to be great I want to break this generational curse of for my family is being a single mother and struggling. <laughs> I don't want to continue that. And I don't want her to feel like that's a norm to be struggling to raise a child by yourself. I wish me and my mom would have talked more when I was growing up. But it wasn't really her fault. She had a stroke, so talking for her sometimes is frustrating because she couldn't really remember certain stuff. So it's like I raised myself, basically. And now I gotta, now that I've been through life and experienced things, I gotta reteach myself what a real adult is. <laughs> it's so hard. It's so hard. And sometimes I wanna give up. So that's why I made that, that board back there, my vision board for the days that I wanna give up. 
Because I don't have nobody. I mean, I have Malia motivate me. She motivates me. She motivates me by saying she want to be like me. She motivates me because I just look at her and I'm just like, I don't want her to have to go through the struggles that I went through growing up. And I just want to be better for her. And so because of that, I'm doing stuff that without her, I probably wouldn't do. I probably wouldn't be in school right now if it wasn't for her. Because her being here makes me, you know, it gives me that, uh, to like, okay, you can't procrastinate. You can't be waiting around. Like, you have to provide for her now. You know what I'm saying? If it was just me, it'd just be like, you know, I get to it when I get to it. But she's here, and it's like, you got to take care of her now. And the only way you going to take care of her is if you work a job where you work in long hours and somebody else raising your child or you go buckle down focus and get your education learn how to run this business successfully and then after I'm done with that I want to go back to school and learn the fashion part because like I said I am self-taught I learned from watching YouTube and various jobs, sewing jobs that I had over the last couple of years. So, the little skills that I have now, that's where I got them from. But, I want to be taken serious. So, I really want to go to somebody's school. I've been thinking about in New York, they got two good fashion schools in Manhattan. But, you know, New York is pretty expensive. <laughs> so, they also have one here where I'm living at now, which I heard is a very good school. So, th those be between here and New York is what, what I'm thinking of. But I got a year to decide because I got a year till I'm finished with this degree. So I got a year to decide which school to go to and which one is best for me and my family. My little family. Uh, do you feel like education is important? Some people really don't think it's important. Or maybe they do know it's important. They just don't care. They don't want to. Like, they like me. They just don't care for school. But they don't have no type of motivation to actually go back to school. Some people, they just feel like they talent. It's good enough. They don't need to do any further education. I met a lady who was self-taught designer. And was good. But she was just that. She was just good. Because she didn't further her education. Maybe if she like took up you know, continue to take up classes or something to further her design designing skills. Maybe she could have been better. Because then it was like she was stuck in this doing what she knew how to do instead of 
being able to push herself to do more because she was learning more. And that's what I want. I want to learn more. I don't know how to drape or I don't know how to, I kind of know how to tailor, but I could use more, I can use some classes on it. I want to, I also want to learn how to make patterns. I know how to do it a little bit, but I can learn more. Um, I, I guess education just depends on where you see yourself in life. Me, I want to be a top designer, number one to be exact. So that, that involves educating myself. The business side and the fashion side. I want to be able to leave my daughter something. It's very rare that black people actually leave their kids something. Like a business or a house or something. It's like we leave, we leave debt. That child gonna make me get her. She in there jumping. And then I told her to stop jumping on my sofa. She gonna make me get her. But, yeah, I just wanna leave my child something, you know. So, you know, even if she don't want it, at least, you know, she has an option. You know what I'm saying? I just want my child to have options. Some of these kids out here feel like they have no option. Like, this is, this is it. This is as good as it's going to get. And I don't want her to feel that way. I want her to feel like she has options in life. Like, she can be whatever. She can do whatever. You know... Our kids deserve more more than they get they deserve better education I can say even though I was never really a school type of person I feel like our education could have been better I see the the stuff like on TV. I know it's TV, but it's actually, you know, at these good schools, they actually doing that stuff that they doing on TV, like real experiments and stuff. You know, in science, all we did was make some ice cream and dissect animals. We ain't do that real science stuff like what you see on TV where they mixing chemicals and creating stuff we ain't do that type of stuff like i want to do that i wanted to do that type of stuff maybe i would have did better in science if we would have did that type of stuff because i would have thought it was cool like oh my gosh you mix this and this you know but i we we just had to read books watch videos we didn't actually i'm a hands-on student so if i'm not if I'm not doing anything hands on, I'm not, it's not processing in my brain. I literally, I gotta be doing it with my hands. Even with the sewing thing. I took some sewing classes um, to get prepared for a fashion show. Well, I already had the designs. I just wanted her to help me like bring them to life. Um, but I was listening to her. I was watching her, watching her. But she did most of the cutting. I sold everything together. But she did all the cutting. And she kind of like did the pattern too. Like she, you know, folded the cloth, used her little chalk stick, and drew out the, the pattern for me to put the stuff together. So it was like I saw her. But it really didn't process in my brain because I didn't do it. I wasn't using the rulers and 
So I, I like have remembered this stuff. So I just feel like it don't matter what you doing. Educate yourself. Pick up a book. Because the enemy is hiding stuff from you in those books. They feel like they can treat you any kind of way because you don't know what's in those books. If you knew what's in those books, you would you would stand taller with your chest out more. You would be more confident. That's what I'm working on. Being more confident. And growing my education has been helping me grow my confidence in my fashion. For real. Because it's like people start asking you all these fashion terms and stuff like that you be like what does that mean like I know what it mean like cutting it out <laughs> you know putting putting the garment together but to know the actual terminology I'm just over there like what does that mean I don't know do you mean this and they be like yeah I'm like oh okay yeah I knew I know what that mean I just didn't call it that you know what I'm saying but People feel like you got to know those terminologies. And if you don't, you're not good enough. And I am good enough. And I'm working to be great. So, whatever it takes to be great, that's what I'm going to do. If I got to keep being in school, over here like, oh, I'm so tired of school. I'm going to do that because I want to be great. You got to want it bad enough. It ain't going to just come to you. You got to go take it. And I'm going to go take what's mine. I've been working too hard for too long. Too hard for too long. For the wrong people. It's time to work for myself. Take everything I've learned in these 29 years and put it to work for myself. If I can make somebody else money, I can make myself money, right? Alright, thank y'all. It's been cool. Oh, my bad. I feel like... <laughs> I feel like an old person, y'all. I'll be over here cracking and stuff. Body aching and hurting. I need a massage, you know what I'm saying? Some, eh, some pressure points. Just realign my whole body pop it out put it back all that that's what it feel like i just just give me a new body <laughs> Ooh, but i love y'all i appreciate y'all for coming in watching me every day spending 30 minutes with me all right we almost up 25 we got five more days together five more days together i can't believe we got through these 30 days almost it went by quick it feel like i just started yesterday and we already on day 25 that's crazy but thank y'all i appreciate y'all subscribe like share comment <laughs> do all that I love y'all. See y'all tomorrow. Peace.